<laughs> well, with this beautiful weather, as we just said, the pollen count and other allergens are really off the charts. About 81 million people have seasonal allergies, and the numbers are growing. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl is going to explain why, and she has mm. ways to manage those symptoms, That's right? Poor Andrew out there with his I tissues, know. had I a little know. bit of a sneezing fit. I so, know. Andrew is among the 81 million, if that's any consolation. You know, doctors say spring allergy season is longer and more intense than it's been because of global warming and the prolonging of symptoms. My allergies are bad. Rahim Ali knows about battles in the boxing ring. Now he's got another fight on his hands with allergies. This is why I sound like this, because that pollen and allergies is kicking my butt. Shadow boxing behind the art museum, preferring to work out outside, even though pollen levels are extreme everywhere. Today, it's pretty bad. Spring flowers around the Philadelphia region are a welcome sight, but the botanical beauties and budding trees are triggering a big spike in allergy symptoms. A lot of sneezing, swollen eyes, um, just very insufferable. It just makes me cough more easily. Yeah. It makes, makes my breathing a little uncomfortable. And for those with allergies, the misery will linger. The allergy season is getting longer, starting 20 days earlier and lasting 10 days longer. When you have a warm winter, it just means that uh, the growing season starts earlier. That's going to prolong the season. Philadelphia allergy specialist Manav Siegel says 2023 was the warmest winter on record and is also increasing the amount of pollen in the air by more than 20 percent. So as those pollen counts increase, it's going to be uh, responsible for increased symptoms. For those looking to minimize pollen exposure, stay inside when the pollen count is high. Change your clothes and shower once home to remove pollen particles from your body. Keep windows closed and use high efficiency filters in your home's ventilation system. And if you're taking allergy medicine, begin two weeks before the season starts. And if those medications don't work, doctors say allergy shots can be very helpful for some people. Spring allergies, by the way, will stick around probably until mid-June. Then there is a little break until about September when the fall allergies <laughs> will kick in.